warm vanilla sugar. I asked my wife for sanitizer and this is what I got. Oh well, at least it's better than nothing. Hello, my name is Brandon No D, and for those who don't know me, I like to do tech reviews of the latest and greatest, and I even do silly vlogs. So I know a few of you have asked me to do a review on these particular earbuds. The wait is over. UPS truck has arrived this morning. I have in my hands the new Liberty 2 Pros by Anchor. Now they have sent these out to me to do you an honest review, and that's exactly what I intend on doing. The only closest thing I have to compare these two are my Galaxy Buds Plus, but guess what? We're gonna leave that for another video. You've read the title, it's no joke. I went and did curbside at Best Buy just for you about 20 minutes ago, and guess what? You got it. I got the Jabra's 75T Elite Actives back in the color blue. We're gonna go head to head, but first you need to subscribe, hit that bell, hit all, and you'll be on your way and receiving all the videos that I post. So let's go ahead and take a look at these and see how they compare to the Jabra's right after this. All right, let's go ahead and look at the literature that comes with the Soundcore Liberty Pro 2. You're going to get a quick start guide and some literature on the warranty. I thought this was kind of unique. They throw in this card that says, how do we sound? And as you open it, it gives you a checkbox. You sound great if you like them or not as good as I hoped, and you can contact them. So I think that's a pretty brave thing from Liberty to put that right inside the brochure, right inside the box with their product. I guess they're pretty assured of themselves that uh, they're gonna do fine, so we shall see. So both buds come equipped with a two foot type C USB fast charger, which the Jabra is gonna have to rely on solely but the Liberty 2 Pros are a wireless charging case as well. So one up for the Liberty Pros for that, but I hear that Jabber is coming out with a chargeable case. Uh, I believe in only two colors. I believe it's in the blue in the black, but uh, don't quote me on that. Now we're not gonna go into the content of the Jabra Actives because I've done videos of that entire unboxing. This is gonna be more aimed towards the Liberty Pro and what they get in their box. And here are the ear gels and wing tips to totally customize the perfect fit for you. I found right out of the box that the ear gel was perfect, but I did change to a smaller wing tip, so. Pretty nice. If you want the wingtip on it, you can have it. If you don't, you take it off. Uh, very nice feature to have. All right, let's go over the cases of the two. Obviously, the Liberty 2 Pros are going to be a lot bigger than the Jabra Actives. Uh, they look to be the same thickness, but obviously the Liberty 2 Pros are gonna be longer 
and a lot wider, as you can see. So they both seem to have that rubbery texture on them, which is really nice. It's a great feel. Feels premium in the hands. So you flip open the Jabras to get at the uh, buds. On the sound cores, they're a little different in design. You push forward and they slide open. They are magnetized in the case, which has a awesome retention. And same goes for the Jabras as well. You pop one out, you put it in, and it just sucks right into it. Boom, just like that. Same thing with the sound cores. Now they lay in a little differently. As you can see, the three brass charging adapter connects to the three prongs that are in the case. So as long as you remember to put that down, it locks right in as well. Now, although the buds are extremely different in style and size, they both seem to fit perfectly fine for me. I'm comfortable with either or, but yes, the Liberty Pros are gonna be a lot bigger than the Jabra Actives. They both have physical buttons. Uh, it's a round full size button right on the front of the Jabra Active. And the physical button on the Liberty 2 Pros is this little button right there, which you, you can feel it once it's in your ear, it's not a problem to find it, but it is a lot smaller obviously than this big round button here. So looking at the back of the box, we're looking at up to eight hours playtime with 32 hours of charging with the case on the Liberty 2 Pros and seven and a half hour battery up to 28 hours with charging case on the fast charge with the Jabra. So it looks like the sound core is going to take the lead and undoubtedly with the bigger case, that's the case. No pun intended. They both have outstanding calling and we will do a live test coming up, so stay tuned for that. They both have Bluetooth 5.0. They both have calling assistance, which is great to use with your Amazon Alexa or your Google Assist, or for you iPhone users, you can use Siri. All right, let's go ahead and talk about IP rating and this is where Jabber is gonna take the lead by far. Obviously with Active in the name, they come with an IPX5.7 versus an IPX4 from the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros. So basically the Liberty 2s are gonna be fine for outside activities and working out, but you just have to be careful on how much water gets splashed into them. Opposed to the Jabra 75T Actives, that's what they were built for. When you get the Soundcore or the Jabras, you're gonna download the app. So we'll go ahead and go into the Soundcore and we'll have to open these up. And they will not connect until you physically take them out of the case and you wait a few seconds and there we go searching connect and it connects it's got a nice interface on it shows both of them your right and your left it's going to give you a charge gear around it to show you how full each bud is and you can go ahead and hit equalizer if you click on that you're going to go into this test obviously we're not going to do it in the video because you have to be in a totally silent room when you do this test but then we have the equalizer which is really nice now they have custom of course which is great you click on that you have a bar graph that you can adjust which is really nice and then you can customize that and then you also have these professional tabs of these grammy winner producers that uh, have adjusted the sounds but what i really like is the default which is going to give you more of what you're looking for acoustic uh rock and roll spoken word treble bass booster i mean you're going to get all of these options which i think is great to help you personalize your sound this is to customize your controllers if you hit next you can adjust it if you want the double tap to hit the next meaning play or pause the next track. Then you have previous voice assistants. You can change these around and customize them the way you like. So a very nice application to work with to make your earbuds sound the best. All right, same thing goes for the Jabras. Uh, you're going to download what they call the Sound Plus app, which is actually the Soundcore. And once you open up your Jabras and also take them out physically, it will connect. So you're greeted with a very nice interface, just like the Liberty 2 Pros. You've got 100% on both the right and left showing you, and it also shows you the percentage of 100% on the case as well. So we'll go ahead and hit home. And right away, you have your graphic equalizer that you can adjust manually. You also have presets that you can put, neutral, speech, bass boost, treble, and and once you hit these, it'll automatically adjust. I really like smooth, but for all you bass heads out there, you're gonna love bass boost. You'll get all the thumping you're looking for. 
Now you noticed on this app you have here through on or off and then you can set the volume. Now that is one thing I didn't mention that the Liberty 2 Pros do not come with the here through. So we're going to go ahead and give one up to the Jabra's opposed to the Liberty 2 Pros with having that here through function. Very nice feature to have to be able to hear your ambience around you if you're jogging or what have you. All right, I suppose you guys are wondering how well these perform on phone calls. No better way to test it out than to call Rick from Rick Lee Studios, good buddy of mine. We're gonna do a live phone call test. So go ahead and pop these in. What's up, brother? What's up? What's up? You remember that commercial? Boy, is that showing our age. <laughs> No better person to pick than my good buddy, Rick, from Rick Lee Studios. How are you, man? I am all right, brother. I am doing okay. Awesome, awesome. awesome. Well, I just got the uh, Liberty 2 Pros from Anchor, and we're doing a phone call test. How do I sound? Dude, you sound like a million dollars. I sound like a million dollars. Wow. Well, that's pretty good, <laughs> considering these things aren't even close to that price. I'm going to go ahead and run a, uh, a sound test like we do on all the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, hit play here and see what you think, okay? All right, go for it. All right, man, here we go. All right, so pretending this is uh, a subway. Uh, Cars going by, people talking, people walking. How do I sound? Uh, it doesn't sound like you're that. It doesn't sound like you're in the city, man. Really? Not at all. No, it's not. It's not very loud at all. There, let me turn it up. About now. Sounds about the same. It sounds like they're uh, doing a good job canceling. That's fantastic. I mean, these things are actually fifty dollars less than the Jabber Active. Dude, I like fifty dollars less. Oh, well, don't we all? For sure. All right. Well, you know that's amazing to me because I remember when we did that phone call test a while back against the Jabber Actives, uh, opposed to the Samsung Galaxy Bud Plus. And uh, I couldn't believe that the Galaxy Bud Plus actually beat the Jabras. Oh, man, I remember the Jabras. They uh, drove me nuts with how much sound was in the background. It didn't cancel as well as I, I figured it would. Right, right. Well, that's great. I mean, it's good to know. I mean, to get a pair of these for $50 less than the Jabras and actually have the noise cancellation even better, uh, I mean, that's uh, two for the price of one as far as I'm concerned. So far, out of the noise quality from the ones that I've heard from you, I think these are the best ones yet. Wow. Well, kudos to Anchor. All right, buddy. Well, I guess I'll let you go. So are you staying healthy and safe over there? I am. We're keeping things clean, brother. Awesome. Awesome. All right, man. Well, I do miss you. Uh, I can't wait till this uh, COVID-19 is over so we can see each other and hang out again like uh, old times. I agree, man. I can't wait. I need to get over there. See my brother. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, buddy. I will catch you uh, on the flip side. All right. Thanks, man. And uh, those are some nice anchors. I tell you, I'm going to check into those myself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, if you guys haven't heard of Rick Lee Studios, uh, I'll go ahead and drop you guys a link down in my description so you can check them out. Good friend of mine does really good reviews as well. All right, buddy. I will catch you later. All right. Stay safe. All right, peace. All right, see ya. Bye. All right, so there you have it. You've heard it live. There is no editing other than me putting myself talking to him back and forth. That's it. It's the real deal. And you guys are able to experience it firsthand to make that choice. All right, well, I guess that leads us to the pros and cons. So, of course, one of your biggest pros would be they are about $50 cheaper than the Jabra 75T Actives. Another great pro is they are outstanding on the sound. The bass is deep, the highs, the mids, the lows are all where it's supposed to be. And it's great on phone calls as you saw earlier. Another pro that it has the Hear ID personalization setting, which actually is pretty unique to set that up to your actual hearing inside these earbuds is a tremendous feature to have. 
All right, so let's go over the cons. So one of the biggest cons that I have is probably going to be the case. It's a little bulkier than the Jabra 75T Active, but it's also gonna take you some time getting used to taking them out of your ear and putting them into the case. But once I get used to that, I'm sure it won't be an issue. So lastly, a con would have to be the IP rating on these. They're a lot lower than the 75T Actives, which are an IPX5.7 versus an IPX4. So I'm sure you're all wondering, would I recommend the Liberty 2 Pros by Anchor, even though they sent them out to me? Absolutely 100% I'm going to say yes, even though I'm not sponsored by them or Jabra by any means. I'm going to tell you, you're going to get your money's worth out of these. Anchor makes great products, as we all know, but I'm telling you what, they really put their heart and soul into these true wireless earbuds. So if any of you are interested in picking up a pair of these, I will definitely leave you an affiliate link down in my description below and where you can pick these up. I am so happy to get my Jabra 75T Actives back in my hands. I've loved them from the get-go. So if any of you are interested in looking into the videos that I've done on the Jabras, you can find them right up here. I'll tell you what, it's great to have both pairs. Like I said, I'm gonna probably use these more for running or working out. Yeah, I know, a few of you have made comments about that. But either way, they've got a better IPX rating. They're made for the sweat and the water. And even if you drop them in the toilet, you can retrieve them and they're still gonna work. Whether you guys wear them or not, after that is your decision. Hopefully this helped you in making your next purchase decision. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share the video as it helps my channel grow. And I will see you guys, oh shit, I hit my microphone, in the next video. Be patient. Good things come to those who wait.